Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can browse YouTube using the Google Video search results using the W3M browser and also how you can open all the video links with MPV or send the audio to the music player daemon and also how you can queue up audio and video to play um, sequentially one after the other. And what I'm going to do is come across to the terminal and open the W3M browser. And in a previous video, I showed you how you can create a surf raw command prompt, um, which will allow you to send search queries to particular search engines. And what I've done is create a uh, what's called an LV, um, which is a bit of code that basically takes your input and sends it to a particular search engine. And what I've done is um, created a um, query that sends um, your input to the Google video search results um, page. So I'm going to come across here and open the prompt. So I just type video and I want to search for W3M. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, you can see all of the links have numbers next to them. And what I can do is I can type the number and um, pick a, that key there. Um, the left bracket just next to the P and that's automatically going to put me on the link and the other thing I want to mention is this is the URXVT browser <clears throat> and normally um, W3M can display images but they flicker a lot and um, they get redrawn but what I found is that if you enable the um, table or frame option in um, the W3M config that basically puts these um, sort of table borders around the links, and what it actually ha does is has a side effect of getting the video um, the video images to work in the um, URXVT browser. Um, so you can see they're not sort of flickering as I'm moving up and down, um, and um, basically um, what I'm going to do now is go to a particular link and hit a keyboard shortcut and open the video in um, MPV. But first of all, what I want to do is um, show you this link down here. You can see down the bottom of the screen, this is the link under the cursor. And basically it has a redirect. Basically it's a google.com URL question mark equals YouTube watch and then this sort of encoded string. And then finally the actual video ID followed by and and a bunch of redirect code. So the issue, first of all, is that we can't take this URL and give it to MPV or the MPD music player because it won't work because of all the redirect. <clears throat> so what we have to do is actually strip out this chunk of code here up to the and sign. We also need to replace this chunk of code here um, because you can, You'll know from looking at YouTube URLs, it's like question mark. Um, it's that's not the actual code you see in the browser. So we need to alter that as well. So what we're going to do, we come across here. This is the um, first bit of code, which basically is going to take this external link, and that's the link under the cursor because we can't um, follow the link because it goes to YouTube, and YouTube blocks the W3M browser. We're going to use the, the links under the, the cursor. And what we're doing is we're saying MPV with the no terminal option. And what that does is that just that disables the on screen display that you'd see in the terminal that would display the time and stuff. And the reason for that is because it will actually appear um, in the terminal that um, you've launched MPV from, which would be the W3M browser. So you'd actually see the sort of the time and stuff in the W3M browser, which you don't want. So <clears throat> what we're doing is we're echoing the URL into grep and we're searching for URL question mark equals, which is um, the start of the string. So google.com question, question mark URL equals, and then it's going to be the URL. And the, remember, the URL goes up to the AND symbol. So we're basically searching for a string of characters except the AND symbol. So it's going to capture all the text 
after google.com URL question mark equals going to capture all the YouTube code up until the and symbol, which is the start of the redirect. And then we're piping it into said, and we're removing this string here, and we're changing it to question mark b equals. So you know from URLs for YouTube, it's usually watch question mark v equals, and then the video ID. So this is the first um, keyboard shortcut we're defining. Um, so I'll switch across to the terminal here, and I'm going to type the um, keyboard shortcut. Okay, and you can see the video has popped up here, um, and it's popped up this size here because that's um, how I've set Xmonad, which which is my window manager, to open um, videos by default in MPV player. And I can press F to go full screen like that. So that's um, how we can open links. Um, so if I want to type, if I want to go down to the next link, I do that. Type MN. Okay, and it's opening up. So I can quit that. So what I'm going to do um, now is um, show you the next um, option that we have for video. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to use a program called Task Spooler, which is a application that lets you put commands into a queue to be executed one after another. So what we're going to be able to do is actually select a link and say add to queue and it's going to sort of create a queue of videos it's going to play one after the other using mpv player so basically it's the same deal except here we're prefixing the mpv command with esp which is the command for task spooler and we're changing the mpv option here to set mpv to go full screen and um and then to set the screen that is going to be displayed full screen on so the index would start from zero so i have a laptop plugged into um, my display so the laptop screen is going to be zero and um, the main display is going to be screen one so what this basically will do is it will queue up the videos and set them to be displayed full screen on my external monitor which is what i want so what i'm going to do now <coughs> is um switch across to um hang on no i don't that's not what i want where's the terminal um okay it's the terminals like that and i want to go to my other display and um come across here and hopefully that's catching the terminal um in this window so what I'm going to do now is um, queue up some videos to play one after the other and then I'll capture the um, main display and show you them I'm um, going full screen so I'm gonna play the first one um, it's opening the first one on the opening the first one I'm just queuing up these and which um, okay so I'll switch back to that there. and what I'll do is I'll, I'll just pause that there so I'll just play it this one's I'm gonna, gonna be on it command. in a couple of seconds it should open the next one for those one. of you that know me personally okay. click that Yep. Uh, okay, so you can see there. Um, I'll quit that, and I think I only. I think that's okay. So I did queue up another one, so I can't get the because this is full screen. I can't show you anything about. So I'm going to just quit that one. Um, so if I um, quit W3M for a second, um, I'm on TSP, um, you'll see. These are all the um, commands that kind of got queued up and the, the URLs. So I command T, 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 S, T, S, P, 
C. Clear that out. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is um, after queuing up the videos um, and opening them sort of at the regular size, I'm going to show you how we can um, do the same thing but with um, audio. So W3M um, B video. I'll just do the same same search query. And what I'm going to do. Um, Right. <clears throat> Put this on another screen, actually. Um, on another screen, so I can show you um, MPV, um, M NC MP. What's it called? NC MPC next to it. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do now is. Um, Exactly the same thing, but I'm going to send the links to a script I wrote that um, basically grabs the audio URL and then uses the MPC command to send the link to MPD and play it. And what it allows to do, it allows us to either um, add a song and play it, um, or um, add it to the queue. So what I can do is I can run a command there. You can see this is going to um, add that to there. This one's going to be on a command Another line one. browser, and it's called W. You can see the first time we add the. Uh, I'm going to just stop ones, this. I like this one a little bit better. Okay. So basically, what happens is, the if there's nothing playing, it will um, grab the title and um, put it in a. Um, dunced notification so you can see if i put this um here and run the keyboard shortcut for those of now you playing da, 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 you're probably okay, aware that it shows you what's playing but it, if um something's playing and we queue stuff up it um you don't want to see the notification saying um you don't want to see the notification when you send it. You'd want to see it when you when it's actually playing, which I haven't figured a way out to do. So, as you can see here, when I run the command, it's going to say now playing. This and one's going to be on. Pause that. Um, and actually, what I'll do is I'll leave it playing and I'll queue videos up, and you see you don't get the um, web browser, and it's called W3M. Uh, I tried a few Don't other ones. Get the notification. I like this one a I'm just queuing up support. some more uh, stuff here. Or, or let's go to a site here. You can see those all playing, and I can come down yeah, and play the next is. one. All right, this one's gonna be for W3M users. Next one. For those of you that know me personally, stop that and clear that. So that's using um, MPC and MPD and YouTube DL in the background, um, so that we can actually. Um, Either play a sort of a song straight off or add stuff to a queue. So that's um, that's that. So let me just switch that back to full screen mode. So what we got is um, combination of stuff we can do. We can either open a video. Um, at the default size and on the currently focused window. So um, again, I can type 14 and go to there. And then I type this keyboard shortcut. And it opens the video like this and I put it full screen. And that's the currently focused window. And then we have the other option, which I showed you where we can add the video to a queue and set it to display full screen on a particular monitor so that we can have uh, W3M running on our laptop and then basically have the videos queued up and played full screen on our monitor um, so that, you know, we can continue browsing with W3M and not have the video in front of it. 
And then we have the other option, uh, which is using the pinch script I wrote that um, basically takes the video URL and grabs the audio stream and um, then uses MPC to send it to MPD and either play it if there's nothing playing or if there's something playing, it is going to add it into the queue. <clears throat> so those are the sort of three different options we've got um, for audio and video so that, as I say, we can either play stuff and we can queue it and we can queue um, basically both audio and video um, from the command line. <clears throat> so I say this is the search we're, we're using. We're basically searching Google video um, because as you can see, all these links will actually go to YouTube, which is blocked for W3M. And um, if I go to YouTube, you now um, get two warning messages, at least in the EU. Um, so yeah, I agree. Okay, great. And carry on. You think you're in? No, you get another pop up uh, till you actually get to YouTube. Um, so that's something annoying if you use something like Firefox and you set, um, you know, your cookies to be deleted every time you want to go to YouTube every day. Um, you got to you not go through those um, pop ups. So that's what we're sort of trying to get round. Um, and let me just switch back across to this. So let's say um, these are the bits of code here um, to basically strip the first one basically uses MPV with no terminal option, dips the Google redirect to give us the link. Um, the second option uses task spooler um, and MPV um, full screen on your main monitor and strips out the URL. And the third one um, is basically to take the audio and send it to MPD player and um, queue it up. So what I'll do is I'll come across to um, the pinch script I wrote. I just, um, just commented out a couple of stuff to get the queuing working properly. Um, but one thing, know is that um, you need to specify the host so in my case what I'm doing is I'm using um, the MPD socket um, and what you have to do is get MPD set up you you set up a um, a system D user configuration to start up um, MPD so config MPD, MPD config um, so this is the MPD config, um, and then you also need to set up the um, system D configuration. So this is where you specify the music um, folder, and you have to create these directories. And you can see here, at bind to address mpd.socket, which is just a, just a file you create with touch. So I'm using the socket there, and um, Big system D user um, MPD service, and um, in the system D configuration file, you basically set MPD's launch uh, no daemon and then the path to your configuration file. And the um, the other thing that you need to do, um, which I actually forgot and had me baffled for a while, is I'm using NC MPC. Um, and in that, you need to specify the host you're connecting to, which is um, the socket here. So those are some of the things you need to actually get set up for MPD. Um, and this is the pinch script. And um, basically, you run it with the dash I option and the uh, YouTube link. And then what it does is it um, grabs the URL the best audio um, and sort of reformats it um, a bit and then basically we have this function down here and what this does is um, it checks um, using MPD 
um, NPC rather, what we do is um, we check if anything's playing um, or if the playlist is empty. And um, then what we do is uh, we add the link um, and then we play it and then we run notify send. So you need Dunst installed. It's going to say now playing um, with the little um, audio symbol there, name, which is going to be name is the URL, the it's the YouTube URL. And what it does is it grabs the title from it. Um, so it's not just like now playing youtube.com watch something or other. It actually d displays the name of the, of the video. Um, and then after that, what we do is um, if the playlist's not empty, clear it, add the URL and play. So we clear, we add the link, then we play and then um, do the notification. Um, and if there's audio playing, what we do is we insert the URL um, and then we basically when the current tracks finished playing, it's going to play the next item in the queue. So that's how we queue stuff up. So basically it's going to, if there's nothing playing, it's going to start playing. If there's something playing, it's going to add the, the link to the queue and it will get played um, after the current song. So that's the um, pinch script. And down here, uh, we run that particular function with the URL. Um, so that's the, um, the pinch script. And um, the other thing um, is I'm going to go through um, the W3M options that I've sort of set up. So um, let me see. Display link numbers. That's so that we get a, um, a number before the URL. So we can type the number and then press the little left bracket key to jump to that URL. Makes it quicker to navigate. Um, what else have we got down here? Something for tables. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Display table borders, ignore value of border. And that's basically the option that draws the borders around the thumbnails that actually gets the thumbnails to work um, a bit better in um, older browsers like URXVT. So you want to set that to yes. Um, and now I've got stuff like display inline images, yes. Um, load images, inline images automatically. Um, and when you've when you've changed those options, you need to go to this here. So sixty seven. There, yeah, you need to do that and click OK. But um, what I also did, um, which I found helps, is changing the color settings. Um, what you can do is when you click on these, you can see you get this options um, you can choose from. And they're normally set to stuff like um, some of them like blue or green for the images. And um, the color of, of, of anchor is the color that is actually um, displayed for the table drawn around the images. Um, so what I found is actually setting most of these to just terminal. Um, actually reduces the flickering. Um, I think those are the main settings I did um, in there, but um, as you can see, I've set the, um, there's another option for the URL. You can set the currently highlighted URL um, be colored. So let me just go down. Um, I was in the color setting. Um, yeah, enable coloring of active link. Set that to yes, and I've set that to Scion. But there's no point in setting the used visit color link because we're not actually following any of the links. We're not um, clicking the link and going through to YouTube. We're just opening the link with a, another program. So enable coloring of active link and um, okay. And so what happens is. Um, see as i sort of scroll down here normally you get a lot of flickering but actually setting those options seems to um sort of remove remove that issue and another thing i wanted to mention is um comparing the results here to the results um that you get here um in a regular um graphical user interface browser like um 
by Fox. And the one thing that's actually missing is the uploaded by. Um, so it doesn't display the um, who's uploaded it. So you can't see what channel it's from. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure why that is, but as you can see here, um, so sort of scroll up here. This is the sort of first result. And you see you get the duration and the posted, but you don't actually get the um, the YouTube channel that it's from. Um, and I don't know if changing the user agent or anything to like links or anything else would actually cause that to play. I think I tried in links and it didn't work either. Um, so that's a, that's one issue um, between these results and um, this. So the other thing is actually comparing um, the results here. So if I search for W3M, um, the interesting thing is to actually compare the results you get here. By default, you get a, a relevance filter. I don't think there's a relevance filter for um, Google video search results. So the order that you'll see in YouTube here um, will be slightly different to what's here. You can see here, you know, that was top in this result. Um, so you're going to get a slightly different order, but you'll get the, um, the same videos you can see. So you'll actually get a different um, result um, with the Google video search results um, and again um, in the terminal as well. Um, but that's not really too much of an issue. You'll still get the same videos coming up. Um, so that's basically how we can um, browse YouTube with the W3M browser um, using Google video search results. Um, make it also make it quicker to um, jump to links and again each each of these actually goes to the same location so if 14 and 15 here both open the same video and if I just come across um, here I'll show you what I mean you can see that's link but also the actual uh, video uh, the image for the video is a link here so each one of these has two links so that's why you get two links here um, so just in case that's confusing, but basically you can easily uh, jump to a video and then press um, one of the free keyboard shortcuts. Um, again, I can um, open it here. Um, the default set up like this. For those of and then I can you know move it around, um, put it full screen, press it, um, or I can add the um, add it to a task and get it to go full screen so I haven't got anything else so this will start playing automatically for those of you that know see that goes full screen and again if I had anything else in the queue um, as soon as I quit that video it would play the next video in the queue and what happens is when you quit the video obviously um, it goes back to the desktop and then when the next video is launched it goes full screen and then again, the, the other option that we have is um, using uh, NCMP, um, MPD, so we can actually queue up the, the audio. So these could be um, music videos. So I'm not showing you any music videos just for copyright reasons. I'm just showing you the regular um, standard YouTube fare that's not going to cause any issues. But just imagine these were um, some of your favorite songs you wanted to listen to and you wanted to do queue up. Basically, um, I can just hit the keyboard shortcut. That's going to play. Go to the next one. Do that up. This one's going to be on a command Add line web browser. And Another one. W3M. Q. Uh, I tried um, a few other ones, but I like this one. Stop a little bit playing better. that, you know. Um, when that obviously when that had finished and then go into that one and that one and so on and there isn't a way to um display the title um you can see here you know these are the title it's going to display the link and not the title and there isn't really a way to 
get the title into um, Music player, player Demon. There's no way to sort of inject the title. Um, it would either be taken from a file name or from um, like ID3 tags from within the video, um, from within the stream, and you can't sort of inject um, you know ID3 tags into a stream from the internet. You know, I don't think that's possible. So I don't think there's a way to actually get this to display the um, the title of the currently playing bit of audio. And that's just one issue. So that's why when um, when nothing's playing, if I click the link and see what it does, is it right, displays this, this dunce notification with the um, with the um, you know the title. But um, as I said. That only happens when you send the link, so it wouldn't be make sense to be showing you notifications for audio that's going to be played later. So that's why I've disabled that. Um, so that's that's the audio, and you know, playing one thing or queuing it up, um, and um, again, then we basically have the two ways of uh, playing the video: either just default or adding it to a queue and getting it to go full screen and I'll put all the links um, to this under the video and um, these are the three commands that we're using um, you know just a little bit of code um, goes a long way a bit of grep and said dip out the um, Google redirect and send a link to our video or audio player um, and was there anything else I needed to um, mention? I'm sure there probably was. Um, I think I've covered all the settings in um, W3M and um, the scripts that you need. Uh, the other thing is um, actually um, task spooler um, at search task spooler. Okay, so that's what you need to install, our spooler, and and task. task. I think it's man TSP. Um, yes, you can. I think it's um, yeah. Gone back there. Um, yeah, it's um, TS or task spooler, but it's, the command's called TSP. And you can see the options here um, that you can use to sort of remove um, uh, stuff from the queue or um, clear the queue. And um, I'd recommend having a look at um, Got Blues YouTube YouTube channel because he's got a load of stuff on Task Spooler. So yeah, there's some good videos he did about using that and um, using it with W3M to um, sort of queue up videos and stuff. And basically, I just um, made some sort of changes to some of the stuff he was doing um, to actually strip out the Google redirect um, and also set up MPV to open on a particular screen and not have the terminal running um as i said the on-screen display um would otherwise show up over overlaid over um the w3m browser so what i'll do is i'll put um links to um my github pages so um come across here when it loads up um A pinch. I'll put links to um, the script um, for MPD here, um, and also um, W3M config, um, config and key map. 
that's the key map file with the command. So I'll put all the links um, under the video. Um, this and um, got Blue's uh, channel and um, show notes on, on some of this stuff that he's put up, which is useful references. But that's basically how you can um, search um, stuff on YouTube on the command line. And um, again, we're also using um, the Surf Raw um, prompt created in a previous video. So we can search for all this stuff. And I've created a search query, search Google video. So again, you know, Linux, come up here. I'm going to play the 16, bang, on keyboard command. Wouldn't lip. And it's going to pop, pop up with a video. And as a, you know, I can cue that as well, like that. And it's going to go full screen. Wouldn't Linux. That, um, or the vid, or the audio. So that's the setup. Um, and it said it's going to search um, Google video search results um, because we're blocked on YouTube using the command line. So this is a way around it and um, being able to either play individual bits of audio or video or cue them up. So you can just sit there and um, watch your favorite stuff. And um, that should be everything I need to cover. Um, that's got Blue's channel, all the links there, which I'll put under the video. And again, the key map. Um, and also did a video about um, how you can uh, run readability mode to strip out junk from web pages in W3M. And um, you can also do stuff like toggle images in W3M, toggle the borders, the borders, the um, this stuff here. So um, I think it's, you can see how now I've toggled the borders off. Now these are sort of, seem to be doing all right now actually for some reason. But um, seem to be more stable when the actual tables are on. Um, so you can actually toggle some of these options on and off. Um, you can also toggle the um, line numbers. And um, this is the um, bit of code to run the um, surf raw prompt. So that's basically how you can search YouTube um, from the command line. Um, bring that back down here. Um, and strip out all the, you know, the Google redirects to get the video and audio to work. And also they don't send loads of data to Google. And um, what with YouTube's new double pop-up whammy of um, I agree um, twice. Um, uh, so every time you open up the browser YouTube, you have to go through these annoying pop-ups. This is just much quicker to actually search the stuff video bang um so it's search for got oops search for this stuff um okay, there we go number 15 bang and up uh you know much quicker um to use than actually having to actually browse to youtube and get through all those pop-ups. So that's all for now, and I'll put all the links um, under the video.